What is up you guys, Pete Carlo here, and today I wanna to go over a position that I just took that I'm gonna be holding for probably the next month to maybe even two or three months. Something came across my scanners today that really, really, really intrigued me. So I wanna share it with you, number one, because it could be a potential position that you might want to get yourself into. Obviously, always do your own due diligence before you take a position. I'm just some dude on YouTube. But I want to also share what I look for with options flow. This specific stock that I entered, the flow that came through today was absolute perfection. Every single thing that I look for. So I wanna explain that. I wanna explain the flow. I wanna explain the position. And we're gonna briefly kind of go over the company. If you have any input that you can give me into this company, into potentially some news that could be coming out, something that could be happening, comment down below. Because the truth is, while I'm taking a position in this company, I don't know too much about them. I, I know a very brief bit about them in the sector, but I really don't know the fundamentals of this company. And many of you might be like, well, then why would you invest in it? Why would you put money in it if you don't understand the fundamentals of a company? And to be quite honest, I mean, I've been doing this for the past seven years, full time living off of the markets. You don't need to know everything about a company in order to take a trade or to make money off of it. That is the truth. Like at this point in time with the stock market and where we are, all things considered, a lot of valuations are ridiculous. And you're really kind of no longer at this point buying companies, you're buying the right to go sell a stock at a later date. So let's get into this company. Let's get into why I bought it and let's get into the options flow. Before we get started though, guys, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and let's go. So the company is Ring Energy, ticker REI. Now, from a technical standpoint, this does not look too hot. Um, looking like we're about to reject here at $2.11. Let's take a quick look at what this company actually does, and then we'll break down the flow and overall why I ended up entering it. So you can see right here that Ring Energy is an oil and gas exploration company that is based in Midland, Texas. Its activities include acquisitions, explorations, development, and production of oil and natural gas fields. These operations are focused in Permian, Central, and Delaware basins in Texas and Kansas, but vastly majority of their uh, production comes from Texas. This company production is mostly done through vertical drilling of wells. So obviously they're an oil and gas exploration company, and there's not too much to it as far as what this type of company does. Um, the reason I asked for your input is because there might be some sort of news within the commodities industry or with oil and gas exploration, two sectors that I re really don't ever pay attention to because they're just not my forte. The financials on this company overall are not the best. Um, the income statement could definitely use some help. The balance sheet doesn't look terrible, to be quite honest. We have $803 or $836 million in 2020 in total assets, total liabilities, $403 million, total debt, $361. So the balance sheet doesn't look that bad. The income statement could use a little help as far as that revenue growth. But overall, from a fundamental standpoint, not looking too bad, um, but not really something that I'm interested in or something that I normally trade because I don't know about oil and gas exploration and just oil commodities in general. But let's look into why I really piqued my interest into this company. And that is going to be because of the flow. Now, a lot of you guys might be saying to me or to yourselves, you know, why would you enter a position just because of flow? Let me, and what is flow? Let, let's get into that first. So there are scanners out there. This one is called black box stocks. Let me make this bigger so you guys can get a better view. Cause I know a lot of you guys have trouble seeing this. So there are a lot of scanners out there that will actually show you what options are being bought up, what unusual options activity is happening. And we'll talk about what is considered unusual in my personal opinion. So this is the flow on REI today. And this is pretty crazy, but I want to talk about what I saw in the very, very beginning today. And that is at 958. So, so no, there's a lot of things you want to look for when you're looking at flow. The main things that really show unusual options activity is a huge amount of buying in general. We have that insane amounts of buying happening today. The other thing is an initial spike within minutes. So I want to see multiple gigantic purchases happen within three or four minutes. So this is when I entered this morning, right? 958, 958, 958, 958, 958, 958, 
like seconds away from each other. All these orders came in within a minute. 959, 10, 10.01, 10.02, 10.03, 10.04, 10.05, 10.06, 10.07, 10.15, 10.10, 10.16. So a ton of buying within a short window. That's number one. Consistent purchasing, right? That's the next thing. Consistent throughout the day. It's not like we just got a couple of buys within, you know, three or four minutes and now nothing. People are still buying this up until an hour ago. There's still huge orders coming through. So that's the two things. Consistent buying. And then the other one is going to be a, a big spurt of buying at one time. That usually shows that that's one person. So I think that this initial big influx of buying was from one person, which is a huge sign too. And we'll get into that. The second thing I want to look for is the same exact expiration date. So in this example, 9-17-2021, you can see all of these are 9-17-2021. So this first blast that came out here, this is when I entered all the same date, all the same strike as well, $5. All the same date, all the same strike, consistent buying and a big spurt all within a couple of minutes. That is everything I look for right there. So we have the same strike, $5 all throughout the day, same option. Um, and you can see here, obviously calls. You can see too the price at which the stock was at. So the other thing that I really want to see is people averaging up into a position because when you're averaging up into a position, it means I don't care what the price is. I want to get into this. And when we have something that goes out until September, this is not something that somebody's day trading. So even though I'm up about uh, 4% right now on this position, that doesn't matter. Whoever is in this trade, they are somebody who is actually looking to get into this trade, hold this trade for the next couple of months and really see substantial growth over a longer time frame instead of just, you know, if these are a bunch of 219s or 319s or something along the lines of that, then what they would be doing is probably day trading them or short swing trading them. Since this is out until September 17th, 2021, that means that these people are actually looking to either hold it not till expiration, but maybe till June, or they're expecting a massive spike within the next two months. And then they're just protecting their downside by giving themselves enough time. But this is very far out of the money. You have to realize that these are $5, which is crazy. It needs hundred percent return just to break even by September. So we're going to talk about that too. And we're going to talk about the position that I took because I didn't take these options. Now, like I said, I want to see averaging up. So they were buying it at $2.04, $2.05, $2.14, $2.13, $2.17, $2.19, all the way up to $2.33. So averaging up into this position. And then overall, there is close to about four or five million dollars worth of calls right now that have come into this. So unusual options activity, that is exactly what I look for. Now, as far as the position that I am in, the position that I'm taking, I did not go with those options simply because while I wanted to, to not have to tie up as much capital as I want to tie up in this position, I wanted to go with shares because of liquidity and I wanted to go into shares because I don't want to deal with that amount of theta decay. So I went in for $2,300 shares and I got an average of $2 and nine cents. I'm up 233 bucks. I was up about $600. Now looking at this chart, one thing that we can notice is that on the three year weekly chart, we have a lot of room to run right up to next resistance. As long as we can hold here is about a 70% return up until major, major resistance of about $7. That's a 213% return. If we look at the four hour and we look at the daily, it doesn't look so hot. So if you are going to take this position, like I am in, expect to be in it for a good amount of time and tying up capital for a good amount of time. But in my opinion, the potential return is huge. And the thing that I am trying to think of to myself is why are these people entering? Normally when you see a mass amount, a mass amount of calls like that, there's something behind it. Usually somebody knows something. Usually there's some sort of news and I don't know what the news could possibly be. That's why I'm asking you guys, but there's normally some sort of news that or insider news that people know about. Last time I saw buying like this, it was when Tilray merged with Afia and the stock ripped like 35% the next day. Um, the last time I saw buying like this was when Apple came out with their car, um, the Apple car. That's the last time I saw something like this too. Um, 
the last time I saw something like this, it, it's usually something along the lines of some sort of insider information trading, or it could just be big hedge funds or big traders and investors who think that this has a huge potential to move. Energy, I believe overall is in it, of, and I talked about this a lot. If you go back and watch my, um, did I make an AX, AS video? I don't know if I made an AX, a Braxis, um, I think I might have made it a Braxis Petroleum video, but I sold that a couple days ago for like 45% in a week. But a Braxis, which is AXAS, this is a company that I, I thought was extremely undervalued. And this thing ripped about 38% from the time that I bought it last week. So I think in general, petroleum and, and oil companies are undervalued. But once again, that's not my, my space. That's not the sector that I love to trade. My, my sector is usually tech. So if you guys know something that I don't know, if you know something that potentially could be coming out, um, let me know because there is a reason that people are buying these. Of course, now remember too, big money can always be wrong. They can always, always, always be wrong. So it's not like this is a guaranteed profit, but for me, I really, really enjoy this setup. I really wanted to share with you what a perfect options flow looks like and what I look for. This one that I am currently using is black box stocks. If you type in on YouTube, Peter DiCarlo, black box stocks, I explain and I have a whole video about it, how to use it. And if I recommend it, I do highly recommend it. Um, overall guys, thank you for all the support. If you do want to learn to trade and invest the way that I do, you can become part of my private stock market mentorship program. I'll put the link down below. You can start for $10 your first month, get access to all my trades live as soon as I take them. You get access to all of our streams, a stream with the team just like this every single morning for the first hour of market, over, uh, market open, go over what I'm trading, why I'm trading it, which is the most important thing. And as well, I also, well, you also get access to 60 hours of all my courses and lectures and all of our modules and our full uh, library. Thank you guys for all the support. We're at like over 5,000 subscribers. Hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. Let me know what you think about this position and I'll see you next time.